Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with a video for you. On this video, we're going to be showing you how to enable the administrator in Windows 11. Now, the Windows administrator has been there since forever. It's been there on Windows XP. You also can go to save mode and get into administrator to type in users accounts passwords. Once Vista came out, they pretty much disabled this. This doesn't pretty much stop us. We can still enable this using some boot startup systems and stuff like that for it. But what administrator does, I'm using the administrator. It pretty much gives you the ability to transfer folders and stuff from different files without being prompted, not having to have rights and permissions for it. It pretty much overwrites that. Also, you'll probably never get that pop up from the UAC pretty much coming up on Windows. And it has a lot more advanced levels than regular standard users for it. Now, depending, I'm not really sure if it lets you, you may not be able to use like Windows App Store if you open an administrator. I honestly don't even use the App Store myself for it. But if you want to use the administrator just to have a higher level, I would honestly recommend it to at least put a decent secure password for it and only use it if you need to, or if you're not using it, just leave it disabled. But for the ones that still want this account to be enabled, let's go ahead and get started. So first thing you do, it's pretty simple. Instead of going so many different steps, because honestly maybe like about like eight different ways you can enable the administrator, I'm honestly just gonna show you how to do this using um, command prompt. So from this point, I'm probably just going to go to start. You also can use probably use terminal to do the same concept, but all I'm looking for is just to type in CMD. You already saw command prompt was there, but I'm typing CMD in case you did not see it. And from that point, before you select it, be sure that you right click and select run as administrator. If you do not have the right to select to run administrator, you won't be able to get this. It's pretty much you probably have a restricted user. So when this comes up, you're seeing this UAC, user account control. Pretty much when you enable the minister, you'll never have to have this problem again. So from this part, I'm going to go ahead and press yes. And I'll move this over. This pretty much brought this pretty much command prompt for it. So right now, there honestly might be all different users. We honestly don't have to type in the other users, but I'm going to show you an example what this does. I'm going to type in net space user. And it shows the different accounts that are there. Mine's pretty much admin right now. There's also the guest. You can't really enable the guest. We used to be able to up to like... Windows 10, I think it was, maybe. I think it was to Windows 10, and then they kind of blocked it. It doesn't really work anymore. This is the WDAG utility account. You can leave that alone. You can't really do nothing about that. And default account is pretty much the current account. But the one we're looking for is the administrator. So right now, I'm also going to just type in net space user. And I'm going to type in administrator. And I'm going to go ahead and press enter. And right now, it tells us lots of features and stuff. It tells us the user account, stuff like that. And it says the account is account active and it says no so right now when you come on this it's not active so you can't really do anything of booting up into this right now as you see on my users i only have one user if i want to select it i can't really sign out to another user for it so what i'm going to do is show you how to enable this so once you get to this go ahead and type in net user and i'm going to type in administrator and they're going to type in a forward slash what is it called it's um colon is what it is colon not semicolon just colon you put semicolon this will not work that's this is pretty much right here this is semicolon that won't work it needs to be colon and from that part we're going to type in yes i'm going to press enter and it says that the net user administrator active and i put colon says yes so the command has completed successfully so i'm going to go ahead and just clear this whole thing to clear it out for you and from there i'm going to going to go ahead and type in net user administrator and it does say that the account is active and it, yes it is valid so now if i pretty much x this out i'm gonna go to the start menu i'm gonna select admin and now it has this administrator there so actually for the first time i'm gonna go ahead and select it just to show you it might take a little second i might actually just skip through for it but this is the administrator that is now being enabled on your computer so here we are i'm gonna select it Tells us welcome. It's also gonna probably gonna pop up its first time. Let's see what it does. This is Windows 11, and it's taking this little sweet time signing in. So I'm gonna go ahead and let us do its work. Alrighty. So here came up to administrator. It tells you want to set up setting up your PC. I'm also just gonna press remind me later. And now we have the administrator on this. Now you remember that we were going to and we had to open up command prompt and it was prompting for stuff. So honestly, I'm literally just gonna go to start. I'm going to just type in CMD and without me even having to right click and select a minister, I'm just going to select it. And by default, you're already running as a minister. You don't have to do anything. Every application you're running is at administrative level. If you need to open up a folder and you need to search through stuff, 
Honestly, let's see if I go to this PC. C drive, go to Windows. I'm, I, honestly, I'm going to see if this doesn't prompt or anything like this. I'm going to type in like program data underneath there. Instantly comes in. You can go into folders, distributions. It, it doesn't really matter. It's not going to prompt anything from any folders that you go to on this computer. We need to go to users, to general users, go to admin. I can switch to their folders without even being prompted that it needs to have administrative rights or having to give folder permissions for it. This will all be skipped when you have an administrator here in Windows 11. Now, this is pretty much enabled. You have access for this. You can do whatever you want to. I would recommend to change your password on that. I'll honestly show you how to do that in a bit. But pretty much the administrator is up now. Now, for this point of reason, I'm actually going to go ahead and sign out of the administrator. And I'm going to go ahead and sign back into the admin. And I'm going to go ahead and type in my password. And here we are back. Now from this point, I'm going to go ahead and type in command prompt and you saw, remember I had to click it and it's now it's opening up, but it's not giving administrator rights. That means if I had to open up on the regular user, I would have to right click and select as run administrator and be prompted. So it's a totally different how you're seeing that. Regards, here is the command prompt. I'm going to show you how to set up a password for it. Net user. And I'm going to type in administrator. And I'm going to go ahead and type in space star. Okay. And this allows us to pretty much type in a password. So I'm going to put one right here. I'm going to press enter and type it again. Sorry, you will not see the password. So be sure you typed it correctly. And pretty much now it has administrator password for it. So now if I lock this again. Sorry, it's kind of switched over. Oh, did I mean to select that? You pretty much see that now if I go to administrator, it's asking for the password for it. So here I'm going back again. And we saw that the administrator is active. I don't know how I opened up the browser. And pretty much the administrator is up. Now, if you want to disable the administrator, you will pretty much do this exact same steps that we did by typing net user administrator. And we're going to type in forward slash. And we're going to go ahead and type in active. And we're going to type in the colon and press no. Now, honestly, if we're going to go ahead and enable the administrator, I don't think you even have to type in dot yes. You just type in active and it enables it. So if I go to like administrator right now, it tells us it's active. I'm going to go ahead and type in active colon no. It now says that it's disabled. So I'm gonna go ahead and show this again for administrator. And it says active no. And that is pretty much it from having to enable the administrator in Windows 11. Thanks everyone, and I will see you on another video. Thanks for watching guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button, get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store, link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.